What's up everybody, welcome to money management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you the latest news directly related to our story. I will show you that we have another refusal to disclose the blue sheets. But don't be afraid, uh, it is uh, not the main petition that was filed by Mark or Basile. We have more inquiries uh, to see these blue sheets and unfortunately none of them are successful to the moment. And uh, at the end of this video I will share even more information regarding the conflict of interests uh, in FINRA's activity. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, uh, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family, and drop me a line in the comment section if uh, you have valuable information for the community. And uh, for now, it is the only way how we can attract more attention to this problem, and that is why just hit the like button. So, the most important news uh, that we have right now, in my opinion, is this one. We all know that uh, last Wednesday we had uh, an oral hearings uh, in the court and uh, we have uh, the postponed decision uh, from the judge and this decision should be uh, disclosed this Friday. But since uh, Wednesday we have a lot of people who tried to tweet in the judge regarding the blue sheets case and it is not the best idea. Let me quote to this. Don't tweet the judge. It should go without saying, but community members need to lay off the judge tweets. Tweeting the judge uh, in the blue sheets case is unprofessional and not helpful option for the MTLP case before her. It could potentially do more harm than good. And I completely agree with this statement because uh, we have uh, to be very transparent and we have to be the best community that uh, shouldn't force any decision. We have uh, to act exactly in line with laws and uh, that is why please stop do it. So let me show you another information and uh, I have to say that it is quite interesting and another a bit disappointing situation. So Uncle Smokey wrote this tweet yesterday and he wrote, Metafarm, sorry but uh, too many people are harassing me about the comments in junk service space call, so I will ask uh, a professional that everyone knows and loves. Mr. Mark Basil, uh, first I would like uh, to say thank you for all you have done and uh, continue to do, even though you really don't have to. Your contributions uh, have been greatly appreciated by many. If uh, you would please, I would like uh, to settle an argument in the community and clear my name as a shill or fudster or trader to the MTLP community. Because that's far from the truth. It is for some reason considered uh, taboo to talk about this. But uh, in the event uh, NextBridge Hydrocarbons uh, goes into a settlement with broker dealers, FINRA and SEC and lawyers, what dollar amount would be considered per share? Sorry in advance. And uh, Mark Basile answered. First, I am completely disappointed by some of uh, the members of this community that have decided to attack Smokey Stock for this opinion as uh, to what he believes uh, the value of an MMTLP slash NextBridge share could be. You are attacking him because uh, his opinion differs from yours. First, he expresses initially exactly what I had said a few months ago. The starting point uh, that court uh, would consider is the last closed transaction of MMTLP, which was around $2.9 a share. That appears to be the trade value of uh, the last actually completed sale. Doesn't matter if next day offers showed $400 per share. That's completely and legally irrelevant and no court will ever rely on that. The next level would be if NextBridge shares uh, were registered under the Securities Act and started trading. It's whatever the market would bring for those shares, which none of you could possibly know. You can speculate, but you don't know. The last uh, is if uh, NextBridge uh, stayed private. Then a certified company valuation would have to be done by a credible business valuation company, which will take into consideration the value of uh, the actual assets. And uh, then you can extrapolate the value based on the number of share issued and outstanding. So it's uh, three options. First, uh, $2.9 per share or second, Whatever the open market value of uh, NextBridge uh, hydrocarbons shares would be if 
it were registered to trade. Or third option, it's based on the certified valuation of the company divided by the number of shares issued and outstanding. To think otherwise is more just a speculation. If I went to court for any of you, this is uh, what the court would likely follow in order to determine valuation. Alternatives uh, 2 and 3 are unknown. If you think I'm wrong, prove it. But lay off uh, smoky stock and others. And I completely agree. For now, we have to start with the real data, not uh, with the, any speculations. And the real data is uh, the price of MMTLP shares at the very end uh, of uh, its uh, trading sessions uh, was around uh, 2.92, I guess, dollars. And this is uh, the only fact that we have right now. But we also have another evidence, and uh, probably this evidence uh, will appear in the upcoming lawsuits. And let me show you this. Five hours ago, uh, Scott Trott wrote this. TD Ameritrade told me in a recorded conversation on March 20, 2023, that MMTLP was trading at more than 100x in the dark pools that uh, its uh, lead price was. The rep was Cameron Fleming out uh, of their Illinois call center. Call time was 5.57 pm Eastern time and lasted about 10 minutes. So, this exact data uh, probably might help us in the upcoming uh, lawsuit, uh, but uh, in general we have to prove our words uh, with the documents. And if you click on this uh, tweet, you can find uh, that uh, 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 no brain uh, asked, uh, so can you share the recording? Might be of uh, some help in the fight, uh, wouldn't you agree? And uh, Scott answered, TD Ameritrade recorded it and acknowledged they had it. They also offered to play it back, uh, then declined. But I have all the emails, so it's uh, ripe uh, for subpoena. And uh, I have to say that this information might also help us, and we have to unite uh, in order to win this battle. And this type of uh, information, this type of uh, small pieces of information might help us to win this battle. So let me show you the denial of uh, the releasing the blue sheets. Right here uh, you can see the tweet that was uh, published by Wes Bark uh, just several hours ago. And uh, he wrote, a more mockery of justice, denied information through the freedom of information. And here you can see the screenshot of the letter. And let me quote you this. Dear Mr. and uh, we have blacked out uh, the name. Uh, this letter is uh, in response to your request dated April 4th, 2023 and received uh, in this office uh, of, uh, on April 5th, 2023 for information regarding the blue sheets uh, for ticker MMTLP since it uh, began trading in October 2021. Access is denied to records that might be responsive uh, to your request under 5 U.S.C. paragraph 552 B, 6, 7, A, 7, C and 8 for the following reasons. First reason. Exemption 6 protects records or information when disclosure would constitute a clearly unwarranted invasion of personal privacy. And second, Exemption 7A protects uh, from disclosure records compiled uh, for law enforcement purposes, the release of which uh, could reasonably be expected to interfere with enforcement activities. So, it is another denial and I have to say that it is not the first one. We had uh, the meeting. We have uh, we had the meeting in between uh, Finra and uh, uh, senior staff of House Financial Services Committee, and uh, Finra three times refused to provide a share count. And we note uh, with this uh, tweet that was made by Junk Savvy, and it is for now it is just uh, rumors, but uh, these rumors uh, were confirmed from several sources, and that is why we can count on it as uh, quite uh, legit information. So, for now we have to wait, we have to wait uh, basically tomorrow's uh, resolution regarding the blue sheets uh, and uh, regarding the Mark Basile's petition. And for now, if you like my video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family, and uh, see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only got 